all right what is up guys and welcome to a series that i'm not sure how you guys will like it uh, i know a lot of my friends and a lot of people that i've been speaking to are wanting to know how to code and i'm not sure if i'm the best teacher to teach you that but i'm going to try it at least uh, I, I taught myself coding by pretty much looking up everything i didn't know and then finding a solution for it and then knowing it for the next time and slowly after like 10 months of coding all kinds of shit it, it i slowly started to understand pretty much everything and aside from a few things that i'm really really rusty on i can code fairly pretty much anything i would like and uh so this series will be how to code a kit server now we might not go into like complete detail about everything and everything you have to do but you know we're gonna tr try to at least make a basic kit server where we're not going to well maybe we are i'm not sure how long this series will continue but for now the first video will be how to set up what you need to actually begin doing everything you want and uh the absolute basic thing we are going to use in this tutorial is eclipse now you just type in eclipse in google or you go to eclipse.org it's uh it's completely up to you you come to this crazy website and you just go download and uh there it is there's eclipse standard it's quite easy now you've got windows 32 bit and 64 bit basically uh that depends on how much um ram memory you have in your computer basically because that will decide which kind of windows version you have um actually for mac and ios there will probably be an eclipse but this will mainly focus on windows if you if you want to do this on a mac you probably can you just need to google eclipse ios or mac i don't know you, you you'll figure it out it's not that hard anyways um we've got 64 bit and so we'll, we would go to download now i live in the netherlands and that's where my quickest download is from so i would click that and i will just instantly download the eclipse we already have it installed so we're not going to do it but go install that um make sure everything is set up it's set up your work workspace it's quite it's quite you know you'll see how it goes easily now once you've done that you've got you've installed eclipse you've done everything right now you go to D dl which stands for download.bucket.org and we're gonna need two things here we, you, you you go to this website you click on alternate versions right here and then you see this whole kind of list of everything you you need now we're go just going for the latest development build they are quite stable and because 1.6.2 which we're working on right now has been out for uh, such a long time we were just going for this latest version so actually i'm just going to download it um, we're going to download the development build you just click download next to that uh it's down there my download speed is not the best but you know it works so you've got the craft bucket now you also need the bucket uh version which is exactly uh which is similar but it's basically for the coding part so you you download the craft bucket over here and then you're going to the bucket tab up here and you also download the latest development build let me get a sip of water while that is downloading it shouldn't take too long um <clears throat> now you've got that you've downloaded both it should be in your downloads folder right there uh now don't mind all the other shit because that's it's a freaking bug in in, in chrome so oh, oh god i'm doing everything wrong okay wait I, I just opened all the folders there we go yes want to that would remove that now you've got your craft bucket you've got your cra uh, your bucket jar in your downloads folder and now we're going to eclipse uh if you did everything you right you you would see this kind of screen um you actually might need to click on java uh overview and uh, you will get this now um i've got a few few package explorers here i'm not going to show it because code is quite valuable uh this is well, this was the main plugin for my server this was uh, the main plugin for my old kit server but we're gonna start from scratch you don't have to worry about that um and we will start the first package and everything you will slowly learn how to code it eventually but right now we're just going to uh, start the project and uh, make sure everything is right from that so uh we're going to file new and then click java project there we go 
now you can name your project anything you want basically but you know to to kind of do it for the video we're gonna i don't know call it like surrealism with a which stands for the like the smaller s and then we do like s kit or, or s kits i don't know it's, it's pretty much up to you uh, how you do it, how you want to rename it now one one thing you have to do is uh instead of going for the, the 1.7 java because uh that's the the latest java version which uh most computers have you should probably have that too uh we're going for java 1.6 because um some servers that um have software running on them for the for the minecraft server don't have actually have java 1.7 on it and they won't be able to play the plugins you make in java 1.7 now if you choose java 1.6 in this creative project um, this will run on 1.6 and 1.7 so you don't have to worry about any of that so you do that you use uh, java 1.6 you don't have to worry about the rest really you could you could change where the uh, where the shit is but we're not going to do that so now it's up here we've got s kits um, now, which is now in the list. Now, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on S kits and we're going to properties. And then you go to Java build path and then you go to libraries, which, which should open like right here. Uh, you click add external jars and we're going to choose the bucket one first. And then we're going to choose another external jar. I'm going to choose the craft bucket one. And now that should be in here. Um, in this order, uh, if you go to order export, bucket should be above craft bucket. Um, and then that is basically it. Now, you click OK, you, you, you'll get a little folder here saying GRE system library. Uh, for That's just kind of where it imports all the stuff you, you're going to need for this project. And now what you're going to do is you're going to create a new package. Now this will be your main package and there's a lot of ways how you can do this. Uh, you can rename this to whatever you want again. But basically for this thing we're just going to go for S kits and then main. Because this is going to be having our main class file which um, when, when the server starts up it will load this this file. So you click, uh, you click finish uh, and there we go. You've got a little package now here on the left side. Uh, and now you right click on this package and you do new and then class. Now again, this is just, you can rename it, name it anything you want. For this tutorial, we're going to name it uh, S kit, uh, well, yeah, okay. Uh, S kit main, I don't know. It doesn't really matter, we'll, we'll just do it like that. Um, and then that is our main, main class file. Now, you know, I, I kind of want to do everything in the in the next episode, all the coding shit. So um, yeah, this is pretty much everything you have. If you have this set up, you uh, you should be fine and you should be ready to go to the next episode. Now, if you have any problems, um, just post it in the comment section. I'll try to try to uh, answer everything, which I can. I might not be able to answer everything, but I will try. And um, yeah, if you, uh, if you if you if you like this series, if you want to know how to do it, um, hopefully I will be a good teacher in that way. But if you uh, if you like this part at least until now, leave a like, leave a comment saying uh, thank you. I don't know, or leave a not so nice comment. That is up to you completely. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we are going to uh, start coding our first plugin. Oh yeah.